I'm Sushong, and I recently joined the Cloud Knights. Uh, talk to me if you have any issues. But I don't know the Lafu very well either. <laughs> no need to be polite. I can help any. Huh? You're just here to say hello. You don't need my help? Today was another day of being eager to help. I am very happy with myself. Time to rest. Be eager to help those in need. Do one good deed a day and reflect on oneself three times a day. Those words will definitely appear in my biography one day and be remembered. It's a family heirloom and probably has a history. My ma can swing it with just one hand, but I struggle even with two. <sighs> when I was a kid, I was mesmerized by the foxy and gents on the streets telling the stories of the Cloud Knight Martyrs. If my ma didn't drag me away, I would have listened to them all day. All the Outworlders arriving at Sienjo these days start their sentences with, There's an old saying in Sienjo, but a local like me can't think of any? How can this be? It's not easy being born in a military family. My ma trained me in martial arts since I was a kid, and I had to get up to spar with her before the crack of dawn. I'd get so exhausted in the morning that I always fell asleep in class, and the teachers all called me Sleepy Sushong. To hear a story on the La Fu is like a wish come true. After all, this is where High Cloud Quintet became famous. All the expertise of Mr. C.N., the storyteller at the Sleepless Earl, is in this place. The dozing general of the Xianzhou La Fu? I've heard a lot about him, but I feel he doesn't do anything. He's not as good as the lady general from our Xianzhou Yaoting. He's so young. But a Cloud Knight Lieutenant already? Could he have a mom more strict than mine urging him on with swordplay? I think about this every time I listen to Diviner Fu talk. We are both from Sianjo, but are we really speaking the same language? I've heard Cloud Knight veterans talk about the legend of the Starfire Fox. As the best ace pilot in the Law Fu, Madame Yukong's Starskiff records remain unbeaten. I didn't expect her to talk in such a polite way when I met her. I saw Ting Yun in so many shops and just thought she was a customer who's always buying stuff. Then, I heard all those shops are hers. She's the girl playing in the games parlor, right? She must have played for years to be that good. With how good her skills are, it's almost a martial art for her. That outsider looks weak, but is pretty brave. If he weren't on the Sianjo and hadn't met me, he'd totally get robbed just for lugging such a huge case around. Bailu. It's that healer lady. I heard that her crying can cure patients. That sounds impossible, but she is a videodera after all. For them, the more outrageous something is, the more possible it becomes. One sliver of moonlight. Nine hundred lives. In Mr. C.N.'s stories about Jing Liu, I love this sentence the most. How come the Cloud Knight's records didn't say anything about such a sword master? No more playing nice. So what? I won't surrender. Let me through, or I'll go through you. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? How does it go again? He who strikes first... Ugh, just get on with it. You're not going anywhere! Dodge this! Don't your hands hurt? <laughs> hey! Take this! Shape of Taishu! Rise Phoenix! A little too much fun. Cloud Knight Sushong reporting! You're the best! Get it now? That's the power of the Cloud Knights. Wow, oh, look at that. Piece of cake. Quick, let's make a sneak attack. It's so early. Let's look around. 